Inclusivity to me means quite literally including everybody. All shapes, all sizes, all different races. We started talking about our fall fashion issue. We wanted to focus on this very simple idea that fashion is for everybody. with Hunter for the past year and a half as she's getting ready for her wedding and not only is she a world-famous model and a bride-to-be but she's also an advocate for size inclusivity so it just felt like this very perfect pairing. We loved this idea that not only are wedding dresses is a work of art but so is the human body so we came to this very raw beautiful space and made it sort of this deconstructed museum feel. You know, I think the misconception is that plus size women want to cover up the entire time. The truth of the matter is, is that we're not ashamed of our body. It's like we love our bodies and we're proud of our bodies and it's okay to show that off. It's amazing that this conversation is happening where we are being inclusive and we're getting different bodies and different shapes and sizes in the forefront of media. I had only stepped into about two wedding dress stores and I had asked them to pull me what they had in my size. Everything they pulled me looked pretty much the same. I tried them on and I didn't feel good. You know, either they were, most of them were too small, they didn't actually carry the true plus size to them. It doesn't fit good and that's not a fun experience when you get to go in for the most exciting day of your life and you don't feel good about it. So that's kind of when I, I made the, the pact with myself of, you know what, this is, well, this is BS. I'm gonna do something about this and I'm gonna make my own dress. My wedding dress is amazing. I designed it with waters. There's actually two of them. My first one is very sexy. It has lace, it is form-fitting, it is gorgeous. My second wedding dress is kind of an ode to Meghan Markle Stella McCartney dress. I just remember seeing it and being like, oh, it's so timeless and classic and beautiful. And the knot is a source of inspiration for all types of couples, regardless of style, size, sexual orientation, gender. And what's really important to us is that they all feel beautiful on their wedding day. Fashion is really for every body. And I think that that is the most important thing to remember and I always urge designers, I urge magazines, I urge anyone in the media to remember that. The wedding industry has seen some criticism for not showcasing all bodies but the fact of the matter is that brides, grooms, people who don't identify as either of those come in all different shapes and sizes and they should all be celebrated. The changes that I most want to see in wedding fashion is more variety. I know that when I first went wedding shopping and when my friends go wedding shopping who are a larger size, they never have anything available to them. Um, at least nothing that they want. And I think that, you know, designers need to pay more attention to the cut, the design of the dress. I also want to see the diversity on the runway. Put different sized models on the runway. My best advice for feeling confident in your own skin is affirmations. I mean, that is something that I have been doing since I was 16 years old, and that is quite literally look at yourself in the mirror and saying, Hunter, you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are enough. No matter what anyone tells you today, make it a good day, because it's, you, you get one life, and you have to treat yourself good. Most importantly, it's your mental health, and that is what is the catalyst that will change the way that people treat other people. Hi, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our channel for new videos every week. The subscribe button, it's up there.